Also right now, a section of Boone County, a uh, road in Boone County is closed. Take a look at this. This is MoDOT's traveler map. Part of WW there in red is shut down. It's expected to be closed until about 10 o'clock. Now our crews sent us video of that road earlier tonight where traffic was backed up around 530. Dispatch records show three different crashes on that stretch of highway earlier today. ABC 17's Taylor Petrus joins us live from Stadium and Forum Boulevard. She's been monitoring Columbia and Boone County road conditions for us tonight. Taylor, first responders were called to more than 300 crashes in just Boone County since 11 o'clock this morning. That's right, Marissa. And within just the last half hour, I checked back in with Boone County Joint Communications. They tell me crews responded to 336 crashes in Columbia and Boone County since 11 o'clock this morning. One of those problem areas for drivers was right here on Stadium uh, going westbound here. Now, in just about the last five to ten minutes, the Columbia Police Department reopened a westbound stadium here. And I saw a couple MoDOT salt trucks go down uh, stadium here to take care of it. Uh, um, because it has been bumper to bumper congestion here since the evening rush hour commute. Take a look at this video we got earlier today. We know crews responded to at least three crashes here on stadium within about an hour's time. Um, now, as I look down stadium, I see at least five cars that are stranded on the side of the road. Right now, MoDOT has a full crew out tonight with salt trucks. They're taking care of I-70, Highway 63, Stadium here in Providence in Columbia. Um, Columbia Public Works also has a full crew out treating and salting the roads through the overnight hours. 24 salt trucks are out trying to treat the roads. Right now, they're trying to get into some of those neighborhood streets in which we were told some of them are still a sheet of ice tonight. Now, Columbia Public Works is warning dri drivers that a refreeze is possible over the weekend if these roads don't dry out tonight. They say they're going to continue monitoring the conditions and they'll bring crews out again over the weekend if necessary. Reporting live in Columbia, Taylor Petrus, ABC 17 News. Thank you.